What's up everybody, Tactical Swede here. Thanks for watching. Um, if you remember a few weeks ago, I did a video about fitness being uh, a big part of your preparedness. And in that video I touched on um, not just being fit to be able to fight, but being fit to be able to be there for your family and let them enjoy you and you them. Um, a couple weeks after that video uh, posted, uh, I got word that my mom went to the hospital uh, with chest pains and um, she ended up having to have uh, quad bypass surgery. She had four arteries in her heart that were uh, either partially blocked or almost all the way blocked. And um, that was a big wake up call for me. Um, granted, uh, I'm in the military, um, I'm in better shape and uh, more active than my mom is. Um, she's, you know, 20, 20 some years older than me. But, uh, unfortunately, I share the same uh, genetic deep, uh, uh, predisposition at, with my mom and my dad of having uh, higher cholesterol. Um, I've, had, uh, I've had issues with high cholesterol in the past, um, changed diet, started exercising more, and I've gotten that under check. But, um, this, this incident with my mom really kind of sparked something in me to want to do something a little bit more. Uh, to make sure that I stay around for my family, for my wife and my kids. Um, so I've been working out, um, I've been doing stuff, but um, I want to do something a little bit more. So I got the idea in my head, I'm going to run a marathon. So um, I'm actually signed up to run a marathon up in uh, Northeast PA, Steamtown Marathon, on October 9th of this year, 2016. Um, I'm a little bit uh, behind the curve on, on training. Uh, I, like I said, I've been a runner uh, since my high school days, so it's not, not that big a deal for me to jump into a program like this, but um, I am behind the power curve as far as training goes, so I have no unrealistic uh, goals. Um, my, my main goal is simply to finish. Uh, I, I want to I wanna run this race and finish. Um, I have a time in my head what, uh, what I would be happy with for my first marathon. I've never run a full marathon before. I've run um, some half marathons in the past, but uh, I haven't done any serious running um, to, of this caliber other than just doing my, my basic Air Force uh, fitness test stuff where you know I run a mile and a half for my fitness test. So I haven't really run anything more than say a 5k for a couple years so it is a big jump to step up to 26.2 miles um, but we're gonna we're gonna do it um, I, with that being said um, I've got kind of an off-the-wall review coming up of that right there a little uh, Garmin 4Runner 25 GPS watch um, really digging this thing for uh, tracking my runs and everything um, Prior to that, I was doing it with my with an app on my phone, but that required me to carry my phone with me and an armband. It's just it's bulky. I got a pretty big phone to begin with, so uh, this makes things so much easier. Uh, it also acts as an activity tracker throughout the day, steps and all that stuff. Monitors your sleep, how you know how well you're sleeping, how much you're moving in your sleep. So it's got a lot of cool features, and uh, I'll get into a video on that later. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna run a marathon. Um, I'd like you guys to uh, take a step to do something. Uh, you know, just make a make a, a goal to, to do something and get out there and do it. Um, be there as long as possible for your family. Let them enjoy you and you enjoy them for as long as humanly possible. That's all I got. Quick video. Just wanted to throw this out there. I'm going to run a marathon and uh, I'll keep you guys updated along the way. Please, if you like what I'm doing, like the video, hit that subscribe button. We'll catch you next time. Till then, live life and have fun out there.